So last but not least, this is a one slide disease. This is what's called BPPV. And I don't even have it written out. I should have it written out. It should be benign position, uh, paroxysmal positional vertigo. Um, it's a, it's quite a mouthful. Benign means, uh, you know, it's not, um, I don't want to say it's not serious, like a kid feels kind of serious when you're going through it, but not benign usually like refers to cancer where it's not serious, but it's not, this is not anything like cancer, but benign is, um, you know, it's not long lasting. So think of it as not chronic. Um, paroxysmal means it can come and go. Um, positional means that it changes by your position. And vertigo, we just learned about in the last disorder. So, so far with ear disorders, we talked about otosclerosis, as I hit myself in the face, um, otosclerosis, which is just a hearing problem. We just talked about Meniere's, which is a hearing and a, um, uh, what do you call it, a balance problem. And now we have BPPV, which is just a balance issue. So believe it or not, we have crystals or ear rocks um, in our ears, um, in our middle ears. That's a whole different conversation. And, you know, I don't, I want to respect your parents. Maybe they wanted, never wanted you to know that you had ear crystals. Um, but, um, you know, this might be one of those videos that's sensitive content if you did not know that your ears actually have crystals in you. And this is all a big joke. Um, so for anyone who's watching this and seeing if this is a safe video for, um, you know, anything on YouTube, uh, safe for kids. Um, I promise this is just a joke. Um, needless to say, we all have rocks or crystals in our ears um, and um, they don't really cause any problems unless they get into the wrong place. So these ear rocks can get into the wrong place and they get into these canals that are responsible for keeping us in balance. And when they start shifting around in those canals, um, they can lead to very severe vertigo. So they, you know, these patients are going to have the exact same symptoms like in Meniere's when they have an acute attack, feel a loss of balance, vertigo, nausea, vomiting, maybe tinnitus um, or ringing in the ears, that kind of stuff. Um, there is no hearing loss with this. So this is not a hearing issue. It's just a balance issue. So all that happens is they get off balance. Um, and I usually share my, about my student who had this happen. I was at clinical, go up to her and I'm just like, Hey, how's it going? And she just looked kind of off. And I was like, are you all right? And she's like, I'm fine. I just can't open my mouth or turn my head side to side. And I was like, that doesn't sound all right to me. And so, yeah, needless to say, um, turns out she was having an attack of BPPV and she's like, and she was in a procedural area. And I was like, girl, you need to go home. And she's like, I can't miss clinical. I was like, you would need, you can't be here. Like you can't stand up straight. Um, You can't even open your mouth. Like, you know, you need to go. And so I tried to get her to go down to the ER, but she's like, I'm not going to the ER here. And, you know, she's like, I'll just drive to the other hospital. I was like, you're not driving anywhere. So I had to call her husband to come pick her up and um, take her in. Um, they actually did the treatment that I'm about to talk about here and got her fixed up. So needless to say, um, this is an intermittent problem. Um, while that yeah, the crystals are out of place, they're going to have symptoms. Um, the goal is to fix the problem um, and treat the symptoms effectively is what we do. Um, and um, the main, um, you know, the the treating the symptoms is going to be like the, all those anti-medications again, the anti-emetics, anti-anxiety, antihistamines, anticholinergic, et cetera, all of those. Um, we're going to uh, maybe use those to help to treat those, um, uh, what do you call them, to treat those symptoms um, if they're having them and it's really severe. Um, but in the meantime, we want to fix the problem. The ear crystals are out of place and all I need to do is get them out of that pesky, um, the canal that they're in that's um, the wrong place. Um, so, and I can't do this as the nurse, but a doctor can perform what's called an Epley maneuver. Or it's, I think it's also known as like a canalith procedure, something like that. Um, has some fancy name, um, but effectively what they do, um, this is, uh, this is a, uh, I have a video on the next slide, which obviously I'm not going to show here, but you can also Google it. Um, but this just kind of shows um, the procedure where they do, they turn their head one side for so long, then they turn their head to the other side for so long, and then they turn them completely on their side. And after, if it's done correctly, um, you know, they have to wait. Um, they want to make sure that the ear, the crystal actually has progressed. And they can actually tell that by looking at the eye movement in the patient. It's pretty cool if you ever, um, not for the patient, but it's cool to watch if you're not experiencing it. Um, you know, so, um, but yeah, so pretty much um, they do the Epley maneuver and um, then their ear crystals are back in place and they are good as new. This is not a chronic issue. It just kind of comes and goes. Um, it's definitely not fun when they're having it, but um, can be easily rectified. Um, in the meantime, until they do this as the nurse, it's just your role to keep the patient safe, um, keep them on bed rest until that maneuver is performed, safe environment, fall prevention, and things like that, because their balance is going to be completely off. Like I said, I think I have a video here 
Um, so highly recommend kind of watching and learning about it. If you've um, never seen it before, um, it kind of helps to visualize how it might be helping. So in this video is pretty cool. Krishana, thanks. Shout out to you for showing me about um, showing me about this video because it really it shows what's going on in the inside of the ear while they're doing each of these um, maneuvers. But anyway. Um, that is it for ears disorders. I have survived it. You know, I always dream when I finish this lecture, maybe this will be the last time I have to record a lecture on this, but things change, even ear and eye disorders change and who Lord knows if we'll ever teach anymore. Fingers crossed. It'll just be these six for the rest of my life. But, um, needless to say, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too painful and miserable. I try to have a positive outlook on life the best that I can. Anyway, see you later. Have a great day.